Hi again, I'm Carson from Guys With Games and today's game is called A to Zoo. It involves zero prep. What you do is you come in and you write the alphabet on the board and uh, the words A, Zoo and a dash between. Uh, that's the name of the game and you need to teach the kids how to play. It is great for practicing alphabetical order or how to use an English dictionary for the first time. If the students are just learning how to do this, often I'll let them have it in front of them. But you could play this game continuing up through intermediate and even into advanced level classes. Here's how you play the game. I'm going to think of a word that is somewhere in the dictionary between the word A and the word zoo. This is easy for me to understand because I'm very familiar with how an English dictionary works. But if you have younger kids or students who are just learning about alphabetical order, it's best to give them an example with numbers first so that they're aware of what they're going to be looking at. So I'll say I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 100. And we'll have Dustin play the part of the student. Can you think, can you try to guess my number? It is between 1 and 100. 60. 60. Okay, so my number is higher than 60. As the teacher, I need to erase this and show him that the new range of possible answers would be between 60 and 100. And this would continue, so he could guess another 88. number. 88. 88, now we would know that my answer is between 60 and 88. And this could continue until he finds the right one. And you could let the kids play until they go. But my number was 78. So he would eventually find that answer. Now that the kids understand how to play, they're going to play using words. So I'm thinking of a word, I'll put it on the screen, and Dustin can, Dustin doesn't know, he can guess the word, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Pickle. Pickle, okay. I don't want to erase the letters, but I do want to show him where it is. So it is here. And I, again, I need to erase this and show that the new range is between pickle and zoo. Is that how you spell pickle? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, snake. Snake. Okay. Uh, no, it is between snake and zoo. <laughs> so again, I can continue this for them so they know. Well, it's, it's between snake and zoo. Woman. Woman, okay, no, that's not, that's too far. So now I can erase zoo, and my word is between snake and woman. Uranus. Uranus woman, let's see, uh, mine, no, Uranus is this side. Okay. Table. Table. It's between table and Uranus. And so let me just give a quick update. If sometimes the students will make a mistake. So maybe they say kangaroo. You need to be able to explain to them why that's not an answer that they could possibly use because that's outside of the range. And drawing this continued line helps them see that visually, but if they're still struggling with how alphabetical order works, then this will help them get more, more and more practice. And you can have them go to the pages, you know, have the kids working together. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's find out if Dustin can get my word. Thursday. Thursday. Thursday Uranus. Sorry, no, it's not here. Okay. Up. Up. Okay. Something that I also maybe will do is ask the students, how do you spell your word every time? And that gives them spelling practice at the same time. And it also helps them, if they make a mistake, it helps them understand why they made a mistake. Okay? So. Try. Try. How do you spell try? T-R-Y. Okay. And this should be to here. Right, so the range is very small. This is a simple word that all the kids would know. And it's a noun. I'll give them hints if they have a hard time. Mm. Um. 
what you can do also if you if they're aware of it how about looking at how uh, so they have t r to u p okay understand Ooh, that's a good guess uh, but it's not right it's still on this side All right, and I can give them more and more hints if I want. This my word is a noun, and it has three syllables. Ooh. Umbrella. Eh, uh, bingo. Okay, so finally he got it, and it is between these things, and that's how you play. And then you would, it's important that you don't erase these things, because you could play this again and again and again. You just reset to A and zoo, and play one more time. Let the kids go. And that's it. Thanks for watching.